Who will lead the new alliance, Vijayadasa or Dulles? Tehran reorganises his party. No turning back. SLFP rift widens. Mahinda checks Namal. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Prorti Pelagasma. Who will lead the new alliance, Vijayadasa or Dulles? Political alliances are getting formed in a new round with May Day as the basis. According to Lankadipa, National Freedom Front's Wimal Wirawansa will have Dulles Alahaparuma, Dayasiri Jayasekara, and Roshan Rana Singhe as partners in a grouping he plans. It will have a May Day rally in Karula Pone, with talk of naming a presidential candidate happening on the occasion too. Several social media outlets claim Wirawansa is eyeing Wijayada Sarajapakshe too. Sri Lanka News.lk says he and several others are ready to support the Justice Minister if he is willing to be a presidential candidate. With Udaya Gamanpila and Ratanathera, they did have their hopes on a Sinhala Buddhist popular minister who they had to give up after he started campaigning on behalf of President Ranil Wikramasinghe. Vijayadasa seems to be in big demand, with the Maithripala Sirisena faction too, asking him to contest on the SLFP ticket. The proposal was put to him at the meeting where he gave a lecture, and Mahinda Amarawera, La Santa Alagiwane and Duminda Di Sanayake trio were stripped of their party positions. Vijayadasa promised to consider it. With the SLFP now divided along two factions, he looks uncertain which way to turn. Wirawanza seems to have come up with his proposal to him at the right moment. Many Nayaka Theras, who previously backed Gotabaya Rajapaksa, are calling and blessing Wijayadasa after they were told that he is contesting to safeguard the Sinhala Buddhist heritage. Anyway, he has publicly declared that he would contest only if Ranil is not a candidate, which has made Wirawansa reconsider his moves. The latest is a proposal to ally with Dilith Jayawira, with backing coming from Sinhala Buddhist organisations and even from China in a small way. The common slogan they are going to use is to demand freedom for Nanasara Thera. Critics question as to where these groups had been hiding during the crisis. They say these elements in various forms mushroom whenever the country raises its head and that they should be nipped in the bud. Tehran reorganises his party. Tiran Alice, who is already busy with the Yukthia operation, has been assigned political responsibilities too. Presently in the peak among all ministers, he has been asked by President Wikremasinghe to find him a party to contest as an independent candidate. He replied to him at the political cabinet, Sir, there is nothing to look for. I will give you one of my parties. Tiran has two parties registered under him, and Ranil is to be given the one with the trophy symbol. Ravi K too has promised to give his swan symbol party. Anyway, Ranil's intention is to contest under a new name and new symbol. A monk with close ties to the president has been entrusted with preparing both as per his stars. In the meantime, Tiran has begun reorganising his United People's Party with the mobile phone symbol. It got several new members appointed to its Politburo. The political and media secretary is tuition master Hemapriya Kaviratne, who was also the convener of the Black Cap movement during the Aragalaya period. Attorney Wajira Ranasinghe is the legal and administrative secretary, while retired senior policeman Ranjith Dasanayake posted as the national organiser and Sumith Ratnamalala as his deputy. Samira Manahara has been appointed as the Youth Affairs Secretary. Manahara was the private secretary to Mangala Samarawera. The appointment of a well-known female social activist as the Women's and Cultural Affairs Secretary has yet to be made public. Under Dasa Nayake, the UPP has former policemen as district organisers. Electoral organisers too are being appointed. Meanwhile, the Black Cap movement decided to disband on the second anniversary of Aragalaya, a number of its activists have now joined with Tiran's party. This has not gone well with the SLPP camp. Gota's advisor Iranda Ginigai, while thanking Tiran for disbanding the barbaric black caps, says on Facebook that Tiran could well be keeping those psychopaths busy with giving them something to do in order to control them. 
The political and media secretary of the UPP, Hemapriya Kaviratne, shot back with a strong reply, noting that what Ginnige wants is not to criticise the black caps or him personally. In reality, he wants to keep the Ranil loyalist SLPP MPs further away from Namal. Very soon, natural justice will take its course against the likes of Ginigai for having destroyed public life by helping to form a regime that ignored their voice, he said. Now, the duo are engaged in a heated exchange of words, with Kaviratne already daring Ginigai for a public debate. One between these two could well be more serious than the debate proposed between Sajith and AKD. No turning back. SLFP rift widens. No party is immune from internal trouble. But... The one in, in Sri Lanka Freedom Party ranks is getting out of control. It is divided as the Sirisena and CBK factions, and contentious matters have even gone to courts. Now, even divine intervention is also being sought. On Thursday, the Sirisena faction held a beseeching of gods at Munaswaram Kovil to seek blessings and against internal conspiracies. Organisers in Putalam district dashed coconuts and prayed for the SLFP to have strength to overcome crises and revive as a clean party. District organiser R.W. Chitrananda, Wenapua organiser Chandani Fernando and others were in attendance. Also, Amarawera has gone to India, reportedly to hold a special puja. In the meantime, the Sirisena faction has tasked several President's Council to respond to the petition filed by CBK soon after the new year, Dayasiri Jayasekara is now getting involved on Sirisena's behalf. Speaking to the media, he said those who conspired to remove the ex-president as the party chairman would be revealed shortly. He also hinted at Ranil's involvement in all this. For their part, the Amarawera faction expects both chair and beetle leaf symbols to be theirs soon. It is alleged a former president cannot be the party chairman and that Sirisena has weakened it to its present stage. The membership hopes against hope that a resolution will come in the near future. Mahinda Cheks Namal, the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramanua, has banned its activists from publicly declaring support for Ranil. Considering the differing opinions among its MPs, the ex-co decided on April 9th that the party itself would decide on a candidate. Meeting with Basil Rajapaksa in the chair, they tasked Mahinda Rajapaksa with deciding and announcing that candidate. Party senior Prasanna Ranatunga has been campaigning across the country on behalf of Ranil. Namal, too, is visiting the people and was in Kandy yesterday. The SLPP will definitely have its flower bud symbol included in the ballot paper at the presidential polls, leaving alone the name of his own, Namal observed. Ranil, too, could be among the party's contenders for the presidential race, added the SLPP national organiser, he was speaking after calling on the Mahanayake of Malwate chapter. At the same time, he took a small jab at Ranil when he said that no one can be a non-party candidate. At the election, some sort arrangement could be reached in consultation with other parties, he said. Some in the party whisper among themselves if the ban on talking about the candidate is not applicable to Namal. When will they realise that the SLPP is nothing more than a property of the Rajapaksas, even others say? Anyway... The political cabinet, too, discussed the divisions in the SLPP. Sagala Ratnayaka noted that Namal has more time to come up and that Mahinda's stance is positive for them. Nimal Lanza objected, telling him to mark his words that they would be ruined if the Rajapaksas came to the president's political stage. He went on with a barrage against the Rajapaksas, saying that they will win if Namal contests, and then even those in the Samagi Jana Balawagaya will back the president. Wajira Abewadena intervened and claimed the president is becoming popular by the day, with everyone talking about him, adding that they now cannot stand both Sajith and Anura. I'll bring people from across the country in 2,000 buses for the May Day. We will show out strength and get those from the SJB, Wajira said. If what he says becomes true, the Galface Green could be filled. Anyone can say anything, but the people will decide who their choice is. So... Rather than bringing big crowds, what is important is to win over public trust. That doesn't look an easy task. That's it for today.